Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So today is day two of our Keith Herring week and I'm so excited about this one because we are using some not so usual products. So you are going to need some colorful Sharpie markers, a pencil, and some tin foil. Hmm. I can't wait to show you what we're going to make and um... I'm gonna get myself set up and I can't wait to show you. See you in a sec. Okay, so I am all set up. I have all of my Sharpie markers. I have a pencil and my tin foil. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna start like we did for our last project with making stick figures. So I would suggest making about three of them. We're gonna start with circles, make arms, make bodies, make legs. You can make them however you want. I'm gonna make three and then I will speed this up while I wait for you to do that. I'm gonna make this guy look like Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> So for this last guy, I started immediately making him have um, a width to him and making him kind of like a bubble guy. So what we're going to do is you are going to go over your lines just like we did in the other one, making it like a rubber band is around it um, so they become thick bubble men. Okay, see you in a sec. So I've gone over around my people and now I'm going to take my black sharpie and I'm going to go over the lines so that they will pop off of the silver paper. I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch me. So I'm all finished doing that, go, uh, going over the outlines, and now I'm gonna start coloring in my little guys. Um, and they can be any color you want, and you want to make sure that you are coloring them fully in. Take your time, don't worry about rushing. We are on no time schedule. So I take my time, I really make sure I'm coloring in nicely, and I'm not pushing too hard. If you push too hard, you'll make a hole in the tin foil because it is thinner than our normal paper. I'm gonna speed this up while I color them in. So now I am just about finished coloring them in and what we are going to do is you're going to pick a pattern to outline all of these guys with. So what I do is I use the side of the marker and I go around slowly. I'm going to do a rainbow so I'm starting with red. So you're going to go slowly making sure to go all the way around every single part of these guys. And eventually what you'll notice is they'll start to hit into each other the colors. So you want, so what will happen is these lines will now, um, like this will in the middle will close off and um, you'll get this really cool shape that starts to happen. So I'm going to speed this up so I'll see you in a sec.
now, so now I am just about done with the outlining of all of our little men who are dancing. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my black Sharpie marker and I'm gonna make a square around my picture using the side of my marker. Keith Haring was known for putting a frame around most of his pictures, so that's what we are going to do. You can decide if you want that you wanna keep going with those um, the outline lines um, as far as you want. Um, I just decided that after one rainbow, it was more than enough for me and I thought it looked really cool. So I am going around with my marker and then we're gonna do something kind of fun. Um, once we have gone over this, we are going to write the year in the corner. Um, Keith Haring was also known for writing the year on his artwork, nice and big. So we're going to write 2020 on the corner. And then we are all done. Um, I'm going to actually add some movement lines because Again, that's what Keith Haring was known for. You can put a few, you can put as many as you want, you can make big straight ones or you can make little curvy ones, all up to you. I just made a few curvy ones around everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up. Um, as you can see, I keep them inside of the square and I stopped the rainbow once again, but you can go to the edge if you want. Um, I would love for you to send them to me at htemple at schools.nyc.gov. You can send them to me on Instagram. And um, I hope you had a good time. See you later.